Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, October 8th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across. Epiphanies. Hmm. Like Eureka moments or something? Realizations? Does that fit? That's way too long. Yeah. Hmm. Let's take a look at these downs. Not straight. I guess it could be a skew. Hmm. Fox's Blank Choice Awards? I don't think I've ever heard of this. Classic O'Keefe subject. Shouldn't that just be a flower? Yeah, she painted tons of flowers. Hmm. Let's see if we can build off of that. Not straight. Hmm. Bud. Bud. Hmm. This could be like slang for a friend. It could be like a flower bud. Hmm. Bud. I have a feeling it's slang for a friend. More than enough? Like a surplus? Hmm. California County that's home to Muir Woods. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna know this one. This could also be more specific. It could be like an orchid, maybe? Like a specific type of flower? Hmm. Great Plains Tribe. I think that should be Oto. Jeez, okay. Um, hmm, so maybe it's not Orchid. Could just be Flower still. Packs. Like a pack of animals? It could be like packing for vacation also. It could be a verb. Hmm. It could be like wads, like you're packing something in. Spanish pronoun? Oh boy. Head in slang? <laughs> Um, a slang term for your head? Hmm. New Orleans University. Hmm. I'm not really great with colleges. Iota. A little bit of something. Could it be a trace? It could be a trace. Those letters are looking pretty good, actually. I wonder if we could build off of that. Get into. Hmm get into like a hobby or is this talking about getting into a plane or something or a car hmm pub container pint glass shot glass a beer stein hmm boy this is tricky classic warhol subject uh, well, let's see. He did Marilyn Monroe. He did the Campbell's soup cans. I don't think either of those fit. Hmm. There's a lot of classic Warhol subjects. Like hitting a million dollar jackpot. Hmm. Super rare? One in a million? They wouldn't have million in the answer, though. Hmm. Very tricky. Yikes, this is a very hard corner. This could be an S, maybe? Hmm, yeah. Wow, this is so hard. Shoot. <laughs> we maybe can try and build back up into here. Getting the last two letters isn't going to be that helpful, though. Spoke to a judge, say? That could probably be pled. You pled your case. Homemade headwear for kids. Could those be paper hats? Yeah. You could make those out of newspaper? I love doing that as a kid. Okay. Time to eat, an equivalent phrase. Let's dig in? I would like that if that's what it was. Let's dig in. It does fit. I don't know about these letter combinations, though. 
ballpark figures, abbreviated. That should be estimates. Blanca Keys? Could that be Dos Equis, like the beer brand? Two X's? This can't be right. Lead into stat. Hmm. I'm not sure which is wrong here. Groups receiving our children magazine. Hmm. I want that to be PTAs, actually. Is it estimates that's wrong? Is it aerostat? Oh, it is about baseball. This is so tricky. <laughs> Almost always when you see this clue, it's going to be estimates, but of course it's a Friday, so it's going to be a figure about a ballpark, and that would be earned run average in baseball. <laughs> I love it. That's a great misdirection. All right, so maybe both of these ended up being right. Okay, we've got a little bit of a toehold in this corner here. Get into could be access. Yeah, like you get into a locked room or something. Like many fancy parties. It's not going to be cocktail parties, right? I don't think so. Hmm. Pub container. Interesting. Object or object. Could be a verb or a noun. Is it just a thing? <laughs> Very nice. Martial arts actor Steven? Is that Steven Seagal? How do you spell his name? Is it like that? I think it is. Prefix with technology? Is that nanotechnology? A bit too articulate, perhaps? That should be glib. Yeah, it means you're kind of like silver-tongued, like you make things sound good, but there's not a lot of substance to what you're saying. Okay. All there. Could that be sane? <laughs> okay. Some like it dirty. A dirty martini. Extra olive juice. Yeah, okay. Like bell peppers on the Scoville scale. That's got to be mild. They're not spicy at all. One who objects to screw caps, say? Screw caps on like a bottle of wine, maybe? That could be a wine snob. <laughs> Corks only. Earned could be won, maybe? Like you won a prize or something? You earned a prize? Cry heard at a shoe auction? And this is our first indicated wordplay. Um, is this sold? <laughs> I appreciate that dad joke. That's very good. Okay, this is looking like catered. That makes sense. What the heck is this? Pub container. Is it an ale yard? A yard is a really long skinny glass. I think maybe it is. Let's see if that's what that is. Let's take out trace. Uh, hmm. Let's see if we can build off of ale yard. Blank tear, sports injury. Ooh, I want that to be ACL or MCL. It's like a ligament in your knee. Moderate pace. Shouldn't that be a trot? Yeah, hmm. Maybe it's not ale yard. Maybe it's a tankard. Ooh, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. Iota, could that be a spec? All right, we're building back into this corner here. We're gonna get back in. Okay, um, I just don't know this one. Oh no, yeah, that's gonna be hard. But at least we have a little bit that we're sure of. This should be ACL. The F in F equals MA. This is a equation I learned in physics. Force equals mass times acceleration. Nice, all ranked. High school physics coming in handy on the crossword. I love it. Okay. Uh, am I going to be able to get this? I don't know if I am. This ends in a P. That's unusual. Is this going to be soup? Campbell's soup? That doesn't fit. Hmm, is it chicken soup? Does that fit? No. Hmm, I wonder if we could build off of soup. 
I just don't know enough Spanish. I really don't. Yeah. Man. Head in slang. Is it like gob or something? Hmm. Is this Tulane? There's a Tulane University, right? GTS though. Insights? In sites. That's a little too short. Boy, it's going to be really hard to build back into here. Let's save that for last. Norse war god? Is that just Odin? Place to roast marshmallows? Could that be a fire pit? Musician on the cover of Rolling Stone often? Is that just going to be a rock idol? Obtain a sum via special relativity. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about using Einstein's equations to get some kind of mathematical sum. I wonder if it's going to be about getting money from a relative. It's looking like it might be inherit, right? It's very cute. Okay. Model TV personality Chrissy, who wrote the cookbook series Cravings. I want to say that's Chrissy Teigen. Um, I always misspell her name, though. Um, is it E-I? Yeah, we got to be really careful here. I always misspell this name. 25 across on Earth in brief. Okay, so a force on Earth in brief. We're probably talking about gravity, right? So that should be 1G. And then this could be Tegan EI. Okay, good. I'm glad we were paying attention to that. Eponym for an Italian ice chain? That's definitely Rita. That's a classic New York summer treat. Rita's frozen ice, yeah. Shocked could be a gasp? Is that right? What is this? Superfood commonly used as a smoothie bowl topping. Definitely chia seeds. Okay, it's looking good. Frat party stunts? It's gotta be keg stands. This puzzle's so funny. It's been so smooth once we got out of this corner and we just had no luck at all in here. Per diem, e.g.? That could be a stipend, right? A little bit of money to cover your living expenses. Negro League's legend satchel? Yeah, that's Satchel Page. Um, I think it's like that? Yeah, he was like an extraordinarily good pitcher. Okay, classic gag gift at a bachelorette party. At a bachelorette party? Is it a sex doll or something? Hmm, reason for a colonial party. <laughs> the Boston Tea Party? That would have been a tea tax, yeah. It is sex something. Hmm. Like the ancestry of Chrissy Teigen. I have no idea. Is it Thai, maybe? It seems like that fits pretty nicely. Timely query? When? <laughs> this is not a query that you made in good time. This is a query about time, using timely as an adjective. That's very funny. Okay. Anti-driving while intoxicated org, abbreviated. Mothers against drunk driving. Yeah. Insult slangily? That should be a diss. Weapon of mass destruction, nuclear bomb, e.g. for short. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Hmm. I, I don't know what the end of this is going to be. An equivalent phrase for I'm back. Um, it's me again? It could be. It's me again? Hmm. Be in direct competition. Hmm. Go against? I don't know about that. Epiphanies again. <laughs> we had a hard enough time coming up with this one. It's not Eureka's, right? Yeah. Hmm. Business card abbreviation? It's not your social security number. You don't put that on your business card. Jersey greeting. Jersey. Is this going to be about New Jersey, or is it going to be about Jersey in the UK? Hmm. I have a feeling we might be talking about a British greeting. 
Something like that, yeah. Challenger blank, lowest known point in the Earth's oceans. <laughs> hmm, it's not a trench. Bud, again. All right, they're being very cute here. We have Bud again. Where was that? Here. Bud and Bud and Epiphanies and Epiphanies. Ugh. They're teasing us with these ambiguous clues in these corners. Portmanteau for a certain hybrid feline. I want that to be a liger. A lion and a tiger. I wonder if it's me again is actually right. Shortening used in many recipes. Is that lard? Ugh. Okay. Washington, but not Jefferson. Are we talking about presidents? I wonder. I wonder if we're talking about states, because there's Washington state, but there's not a Jefferson state. Is it not lard? That would be great. Let's see. LS cannot be right, though. Hmm. Previous. It's not once. It's not erst. It could be erst. No, that's too short, though. Hmm. Right triangle ratios. Shouldn't that be sine? Signs? Yeah, because that's 90 degrees, right? Hmm. Well, I have no idea what this is going to be. Mendeleev, who created the periodic table. Uh, I think I learned this once in chemistry class. Is it Dimitri? That name looks like it fits really nicely. Hmm. Bud could be mate. That's another slang term for a friend. Is it challenger deep? Hmm. I still don't know this one. Can we get these long acrosses now? Compete? No, maybe it's go... Tete a tete? No, it doesn't quite work, does it? Yeah. Oh, maybe this is a sex toy. There we go. Epiphanies. That's gotta be eye openers. Okay, so it's not a liger. All right, I guess that's not super surprising. Um, What is it gonna be then? Is it going to start with Tiger? Hmm. I don't know what either of these are. It is looking like deep here though. Huh. I don't know. It seems like we're having trouble, but... A lot of these things seem like they have to be right. This is looking like prior. Is this going to be teaspoons? Oh, oh, what a fantastic misdirection. Oh my god, I thought they were talking about like shortening as in the fat that you use in recipes, but it's actually a shortening as in an abbreviation. That's diabolical. I love it. Okay, teaspoons. Um, is it Tigan? Is it a Liger? but it's reversed, like the tiger comes first and the lion comes last. Okay, so this is go toe to toe. We were thinking face to face maybe, but it's toe to toe, okay. Um, Jersey greeting. Oh, there's a type of a cow called a Jersey cow, isn't there? That's a moo. Ah, oh, man, very tricky. It seems like they dialed up the difficulty to 11 on both of these corners and then this like middle section was just sort of intermediate. That's really funny. Um, why would this be S-T-E? That's the French abbreviation for saint. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, no, you know what? It could be sweet also. That's also the abbreviation for sweet. Yeah, that would be like where your office is. Okay, that does make sense. Whew. All right, well, now we have to torture ourselves in this corner again. Let me poke around and uh, maybe once I get something to build off, I'll come back to you. You know what, now that I'm looking at this Warhol clue again, I think it was tomato soup actually, wasn't it? That was the kind of soup can that he used. 
and it fits. Ooh, that's great. Okay, maybe we can build off of this now. All right, maybe now that we have this T in, we could put in Oto again. Yeah. I wonder if not straight could be a tilt. And maybe this could be the Teen Choice Awards. Uh, this could be lilies. Yeah, I had the wrong kind of flower. Okay. Maybe Bud could be homey. All right. Maybe this could be ample. All right, we're starting to accelerate here. We just needed a little bit of a toehold. We needed one answer that we knew was right. And that really broke it open. Okay. Epiphanies could be aha moments. I think we had that phrase on another puzzle not too long ago, actually. Yeah, that's a good piece of fill. Aha moments. That's very crossword appropriate. Okay. This has got to be Marin County. I have heard of that. Is this improbable? Okay, there we go. I think that's going to do it for us. So that gives us mobs, packs of people. Okay. Uh, Essa. Um, I want to say it's that. Yeah, is that right? What is that? Ugh, yeah, hopefully the goose can help out if I got that Spanish completely wrong. And then what is this going to be? Head in slang. That is going to be a knob. Your knob. God, okay. I think maybe I've heard of that. And that leaves us with improbable. All right, I think that's going to be the improbable end to this Friday puzzle. Very nice, a respectable Friday time, especially after floundering around in this corner so badly. Boy, with the way we usually solve the puzzles starting in the Northwest, that is a very rough start. I think this was by far the hardest section of the puzzle, just due to all this ambiguous cluing. Um, not straight, but more than enough. All of these could have so many different answers. Epiphanies too, yeah, just very tricky. Um, I think this one I should have gotten sooner. Yeah, I just had to think about this one a little bit more. This one also I should have gotten lilies. Yeah, it's a very specific thing that she painted. Um, but this was also tough too, hitting a million dollar jackpot. That could have been a lot of things. But yeah, um, it was nice and smooth through here. Yeah. And then down in this corner also, it got a little bit tricky again. Almost for the exact same reasons we had the identical cluing down here on a couple of these answers yeah um this one i think was a little easier but boy this misdirection this is the highlight of the puzzle for me that's so great i just love how absolutely devious this clue is but yeah i think overall the fill in this puzzle is a lot of fun sex toy tea tacks keg stands chia seeds paper hats yeah there's a lot to like here these stacks of longer answers are really nice let's dig in is great too these are all very good, these long stacks in the northwest and southeast corners. Yeah, a lot of nice language on today's puzzle. Wine snob too, yeah, that's delightful. All right, I hope you enjoyed solving that eye-opening Friday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week this Saturday, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>